home from Greece. We've been away from home now for nearly five months and had a really nice time. Had a final swim in the sea at Monvasia this morning. We're driving up through the middle of the Peloponnese with spectacular mountain scenery. And we're hoping for not too much adventure on the way home. But the COVID situation in Europe seems to be getting worse by the day, really. And the main concern is restrictions that we're going to have to drive through concerning lockdowns and curfews and things like that. It's now four o'clock in the afternoon and we've got plenty of time in our hands so we've decided to take the old road uh, to Petraz and that means going up through the mountains hopefully we'll find somewhere near the top of a mountain that we can spend the night. Well 1400 meters up here definitely getting more interesting. Hey, well, we made it up to the top here. Ski lifts behind me. I've still got my slaps on from swimming in the sea this morning. It's minus one and there's nobody here. We haven't seen anybody for 10 kilometers now. We're on our own. So we've made an executive decision. The forecast is for more snow tonight. I don't think there's much chance of a snowplow coming up here. I can't believe this is Greece. <laughs> so we're gonna head down a little bit now after a bit of a play in the snow and everything. <laughs> it's quite exciting. Temperature's back up to a balmy two degrees now. We're still at about 900 meters, but it's gone six o'clock and it's starting to get dark. So we're hoping that we're going to find somewhere to pull over and spend the night soon. Well, it's good news. This spot seems to be pretty good for the night. It's way off the road. Nice scenery around it. Snow covered mountains and things. So let's get the heat on and settle down. Well, I've come outside now to take Ruby out for a walk. And it's amazing. There's some dogs barking, but in the background there's a hell of a din going on all the jackals howling like mad. I'll try and get the sound for you. It's Friday morning, we had a good night's sleep last night. Uh, it was pretty cold, it rained a lot and uh, there's a bit more snow on the mountain tops now. We've got an exciting day ahead, we've got about an hour or so's drive to Patraz. Then we've got an appointment for Ruby to go to the vets to get your vaccination tablets, Rube. Then we're going to go and get our COVID tests at the private medical clinic, which we're going to. And then we're off to catch the ferry and uh, sail over to Ancona, which will be an overnight sailing. We've got our own cab and everything, so it's good to Oh, that's a bit of a thing. Ruby's had her vaccination. We went and had our COVID test. Loads of paperwork, same information had to be given out tons of times. Then we got taken in a little room, all very professional and everything, and got the swab put up our nose. A bit eye-watering, but it's nothing to be scared of. So uh, they're all a bit concerned that we're traveling straight away because the test might take a day or two to come through. But anyway, we've done it now and we should be able to get as far as uh, Switzerland with a bit of luck. I uh, Ready to roll, let's go to the ferry. Comes our boat, yep, Olympian Palace. Europa Palace. Oh, Europa Palace. Um, trouble is, Alison went to the ticket office to get the tickets and fell over on the way there and has really twisted her ankle up, but I can't film it because she doesn't want it to be seen. Anyway, let's just hope that it's not really badly injured. <laughs> Good thing is, free upgrade to external cabin means we get to see everything through the window this time. Yay! Excellent, we're going to be comfy here. We had a nice crossing on the boat to Ancona. Once we got to Ancona, any worries about getting into Italy were totally unfounded because we just drove straight off the vessel and didn't even get stopped by anybody, so that was really smooth. So we've now got onto the motorway, A14, decided to pay the tolls to get up through Italy 
and rather than go to France, we're gonna head up, try and go up through Switzerland. The main concern we've got now is that although we've got into Italy without any COVID certification, um, we've got to get into Switzerland, which should be okay. But tomorrow morning, we want to cross over into France. And so far, our COVID test has, email hasn't come through yet. So that may hold us up for some time. We can't blag our way across the French border without the actual uh, negative test. Anyway, we're going to carry on driving. We're heading for Bologna, hoping to get to Switzerland and then drive through Switzerland. This also is a bit of a skill that I learned when I was 16 on my moped. It's called slipstream in the articulated lorry. That means you can get about 30% fuel consumption or 20% extra on your top speed. Do you know what? I love a good road trip. We've driven for a few hours now. It's about half an hour until the sun goes down. There's absolutely beautiful scenery here with the sun and the shadows and the light and everything. And we're really looking forward and hoping that we can get into Switzerland when it gets dark. We've got the radio on. All good. Well, this is it. We made it to Switzerland. About four miles into the country, crossed the border and nobody even looked at us as we crossed the border so there's no worries there um so we're going to settle down for the night now ruby's just been sick unfortunately but now we're not traveling hopefully she'll feel like having some dinner too so wake up early tomorrow and then probably try and head for france and hope that our covid test comes through good morning we have a nice sleep six o'clock in the morning and as we're British, first thing we're doing is getting a cup of tea going. We've been all the way through Switzerland, didn't have any internet. And now we've come out of Switzerland into France. And luckily there was nobody on the border, so we've got into France without a Covid test. But we've got internet back now. And Greek hospital still hasn't sent our Covid results after two days, so we've got a bit of a problem really. I was just going to email the hospital and see if we can get any update. It's still Sunday, it's 5.30, guess where we are now? Well, we've come all the way through Switzerland, crossed over into France, come out of France, gone into Luxembourg, got some cheap fuel, driven into Belgium and we've not had a single stoppage or inspection or anything so that's all good but what is not good is that the Greeks still haven't sent us our Covid test so it's a bit of a worry whether we can cross back into France now without that Covid test and also obviously we're going to have to get another test done tomorrow if it doesn't turn up by about lunchtime tomorrow because then we'll be getting the channel tunnel to try and go home. The other good news is that we've been through all those countries and not had to pay a single toll. Uh, we've got about 150 kilometers to get to Brussels and uh, if we can get as close to there as we can this evening to find somewhere nice to stay then that will be an adequate result I think. Well this is it, Monday morning had our fourth night in Belgium, drive towards the border, stop at the supermarket and hopefully stock up with some wine, a bit of food for home, a bit of cheese for Ruby, cross off for breakfast and then wait and see if our PCR test has come through before we decide to cross to France. Well this is amazing, we've just pulled it out onto the motorway from where we stayed the night and contrast between this and being in rural Greece is phenomenal with rush hour on a Monday morning in Belgium. Who would have thought there's a Covid crisis one? There's people really going everywhere. That's good news now. We're about, what, an hour from Calais? Mm -hmm. And the magic emails have come through from the clinic in Greece and Alison and I have both got our certification that we didn't have any Covid. So uh, we're now just going to wait around for a few hours, go shopping and uh, then uh, hopefully get the uh, tunnel train this afternoon. 
So we've just got a little bit of administration to do. We've got to buy the 200 pound swab test uh, for when we get back in the UK. And then we've got to get online and we've got to fill in our passenger locator form uh, so that we can get back into UK with that as well. All that paperwork took the best part of an hour. Ruby's even more bored now than when we are driving along. Obviously no trip to France would be Rube. complete without getting some cheap wine to take home. Next stop, pet reception at the shuttle, so we can get Ruby booked in to go over the uh, go on the train. She's gonna have a bit of food before we go, but she's not that excited at the moment. Wow, they don't ask you what width you are, do they? Yes, we're in the large vehicle lane. Didn't just make it. <laughs> 